Hello, my name is Rebecca Hammond. I'm a clinical imaging specialist with GEOEC. And I'm Sean McClendon. I'm the same title of clinical imaging specialist for GE Healthcare Surgery. We're going to show you some of the, the brakes and locks on the sea arm to help you with positioning for your surgery cases. So we're going to go over the locks and brakes on, on the GE Elite Sea arm So the first one we're going to go over is the actual brake lock of the sea arm is the floor lock. You depress the pedal down, it allows no motion forward or backward of the system. When you unlock it, it allows complete motion forward and backward. All right. The next one we're going to go over is the steering handle. You turn the steering handle side to side, it allows you to be able to move the system straight sideways, either direction. And then when you turn the handle straight forward, notice the wheels turn back and allows you to move the C-arm forward and backward. Just gives you complete control of the system to be able to move it either direction you'd like without having to force. From there we move to the, the what we call the wig-wag lock or pivot lock. You have 10 degrees of rotation either direction. The C-arm rotates sort of in a pivot in an axis form as an arc, so you have to remember be very careful when positioning using this lock because it moves really easily and it moves two directions at one time. After this, we move to our in and out lock, which is green on here. They're all color coded. It has 20 centimeters of travel in, 20 centimeters out. It allows you to be able to maneuver the C-arm straight in and straight out without having to move the whole system. From there, we move to our cranial caudal brake. Unlocking it allows you to turn the system completely upside down either direction. You can turn it to where you move the detector on the bottom and the x-ray tube on the top. You can do this either direction and come back to an AP. From there we move to the gray lock which in our GE lock is called our uh, invert or our smart view lock. Uh, it, it also will allow you to turn the system completely upside down pivot it to put your detector on the bottom. We'll go over more about the smart view lock in our positioning talk. From there we have one of the more common ones which is our the brake for our uh, AP to lateral turn. It allows you to turn the system to a lateral at 90 degrees. We actually have an extra five degrees of underscan there to be able to go 95 degrees. Back to our straight AP. And then with our system we have 55 degrees of overscan and then we take it back to, to zero to straight AP.